Right, good evening everybody and welcome, welcome back I suppose I should say, I have been away for a while, I do apologise for that. Welcome to NASCAR Diecast Review from me, Night Fighter. I know it's been a long time, I know it probably sounds a bit boring for me to keep saying work this, work that, I've got loads of it, can't afford the time to do, but the point is, it is true, I've barely had a chance to do anything at the moment, but when the work starts to ease, which should be in a few weeks hopefully, just after my birthday, March 27th, um, I will hopefully start to set up a little nationwide stop motion series. Maybe not a series, but I'll do a series of stop motion races. Much like Dominic Aragon's series of NASCAR stop motions, a little championship going on there. Might well do that because I'm getting a heady collection of nationwide series cars together. And the car that I'm going to be reviewing today is another one to add to that collection. I do apologise straight away, I'm using a digital camera rather than my video camera and stand. My mate's got that at the moment to do some filming, so I'm having to use this camera. Which I've used before on some videos, pretty good. And there is the card. Just see if I can get it in good range. So it focuses. You see it there, Greg Biffles, number 16, 2008 City Financial Ford Fusion, Roush Fenway Racing. I believe it's 2008 rather than 2009. And um, I've already got a Greg Biffle car, this shape car, as you know, I am largely collecting the old shape car as opposed to the new COT shape. And you just see, uh, I'll just show you the comparison between the two. I've just pulled up two random ones. There we go, there's the 26, and there's the 6. There you see it's more boxy at the front. But what I do plan on doing is when they start producing, because action probably from 2011 onwards, they will start producing cars with the rear spoiler on the back, if they keep the rear spoiler, and some of the pictures I've seen of the new car with the rear spoiler on the back, they look very close to the old car anyway, just with the more blunt front end. So I will start collecting those die casts again, but at the moment I'm abstaining from COTs and focusing on the old shaped car, which is mainly nationwide cars. Which brings me back to this one here. As you can see the box is kind of plain blue. It's an Action Kid Series car, I got it from Die Cast Cars Now. Standard details, it is a Die Cast Cars Now. Arrived very, very promptly. No, actually, actually, forgive me, this one was not from Diecast Cars Now. This was from a company called USA Stock Car. They're a brilliant bunch of guys. eBay seller. They sell in the UK. I don't know if they sell to the USA. Just to show you, there is their leaflet. And this is a great blurb on the back. I love this. Uh, let me just read it to you. Some people don't understand the appeal of NASCAR. To truly get it, I recommend two important things. Now, bear in mind, this is for a British audience normally, and as I've said, most British people, British fucks, as, uh, as Lego NASCAR 88 fan would say. Um, most Brits think it's really boring and stuff, but yeah. First, get to know a little bit about the drivers and pick a favourite. There is a perfect match for every taste. Young and hip Dale Earnhardt Jr., most of your choice. The quietly competent Matt Kenseth, the outrageous and aggressive Carl Busch, or any of the other 40 drivers that start the race each week. Learning the personalities, relationships and rivalries adds a lot to your enjoyment of the race. Second, and most important, attend a race in person. Attending a NASCAR race is a full five cents experience. The bright colours, the sounds of the engines and the screaming fans, the smell of brake dust and rubber, the taste of a cold beer on a smoking hot day spent in the sun with your friends, and feeling the rumble in your seat as the cars charge past. There is nothing in the world like attending a NASCAR Sprint Cup race in person. You'll be hooked. Now, I've got to be honest, right there, anybody who puts that on their promotional leaflet for a NASCAR die car sale thing will have me hooked. <laughs> and it's only made me want to go and see a race for real more than ever. But hey-ho, for now I am stuck with my small NASCARs and small races. And I'd better actually open this box now, shouldn't I? I've been blethering on for a little bit about the, the box and who sells it. But they are really good sellers. I'll try and put their link up in the video and see if they do post. Here is the car. Sorry about the lighting or the focus. The thing's not camera's not focusing very well for some reason. Come on. better. I think it is anyway. It's not focusing very well at all tonight. I do apologise. That's a little bit better. A little bit better. Uh, it's not great. I do apologise. Yeah, you see it there. City Financial. City. It's literally covered in City Financial logos. There's no other logos on it pretty much. All City Financial. It's covered in it. There's the new Ford 
Fusion front end, how it looks on an older car. And you see the 16 number, same number. I do apologise, this is this camera is useless. It's just randomly not focusing for some reason. Hard work, stupid thing. Sooner I'll get my video camera back, the better. There you can see the thing. It is a very nice car, as you can see, it has that kind of twisting blue, uh, what's it, pattern coming through there, pattern there with the silver stripe coming up, and it blends the blue and silver, very much like Biffle's current uh, Sprint Cup Series car, has that kind of jagged tribal pattern to it, working up through and flowing through, and there's the 3M logo linking, it's just on the, on the back bumper right there, you see it there, and the one interesting thing, it's more a manufacturer's defect than anything else, I don't know if you can see it from there, but the wheel axles are actually very, very long. It means I can just push them in and out like that. And actually almost, if you tilt it like that, you can almost see them sticking out from the wheel. And that's true on both front ends. That's, like I say, I think that's just a manufacturer's defect more than anything else. Certainly doesn't detract from the car. It's quite a nice car. A little bit bland, I'd have to say. Blue and silver, they don't really combine too well. It's a little bit like a kind of a cloudy day type car. But, um, you know, I wish I could show it to you better, but this camera's rubbish for some reason. I don't know why. It's normally quite good. It's the thing I used to shoot my stop motions normally. Um, hopefully I'll get a new one for my birthday. Um, yeah, there is the car. It is a very nice thing. Like I say, dull, slightly understated. A bit like Greg Biffle's current Spring Cup Series car. Slightly dull, not the most uh, garish of cars on the circuit. But it does look attractive, it looks nice. I like, I like the look of it. And I want you to have a quick deciding vote. Um, I'm going to use it obviously for my nationwide series of stop motions. Hang on, where is it? I'm just trying to look for my other great people. Here it is. I want you to decide which of these cars will be used in the Pepsi Time Capsule 400, which is still on for the summer, by the way, folks. Which of these two cars I should use for the Great Biffle car, or another one? If you want to suggest another one, please do so. You got the City Financial Nationwide car, or his 2006 AmeriQuest number 16 from the uh, then Nextel Cup series. Well, that is the end of today's diecast review. I do apologise for the long break again. Hopefully I'll be back in a bit more regular now. Keeping up appearances. Yeah, that is today's diecast review. It's on Greg Bilfer's number 16, Ford Fusion Nationwide Series. And until next time, like I say, I will, I will have another diecast coming soon. It's one of Kevin Harvick's Nationwide Series cars, getting in cars for this new Nationwide Series, obviously. So I'll review that one as soon as it comes in, pretty much. Uh, until then, I will see you next time.